Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Stock. Today I have brought across a special series on Dr. Stock. We have with us today Dr. R.K. Mishra. Hello. Today we are going to speak about hysterectomy. That means the removal of a woman's uterus. It's always a very painful decision for a woman to do so. And the reason being sometimes a fibroid in her uterus or sometimes a uterine prolapse. We have here with us Dr. R.K. Mishra, a laparoscopic surgeon, who is going to explain to us why does it happen in the first place and how is it possible that hysterectomy can give back a woman her life and her confidence. So, Dr. Mishra, first of all, why does a woman have to undergo hysterectomy? Uh, there are certain conditions where uh, uh, the disease cannot be cured by medical therapy. Like one of the very common is called DUB or AUB that is altered uterine bleeding. Mm -hmm. In those situations without any cause there is excessive bleeding. And uh, bleeding is up to the extent that patient hemoglobin may go 3-4 gram. And in those situations there may be death or it may be severe anemia where patient is getting of completely bad bedridden. In those situations, hysterectomy is required. As you have rightly said that sometimes fibroid becomes so huge or if it is submucous that it is very difficult to remove the now fibroid from uterus. Mm -hmm. In those situations, we may have to remove the entire uterus. In certain other conditions like precancerous condition where we have a suspicion about the cancer in the uterus, we remove the uterus, sometimes the complete prolapse of the uterus. If it is a grade 1, grade 2 prolapse in those situations and if the patient is in the reproductive age group, we can fix the prolapse. Like we can pull the uterus up and fix in the normal situation, normal position. But sometimes if it is complete prolapse and patient is elderly, then we prefer to use hysterectomy. So these are the causes and certain other causes. So in nutshell, wherever the medical therapy fails to treat the uterine diseases and uterus is really bothering the female giving a lot of symptoms, a lot of bleeding, then there is a need of hysterectomy. So doctor, like we discussed earlier and it is always a very painful decision for a woman to make to remove her uterus, um, mainly so because she feels a kind of emptiness that remains in her body. Why is that so? Is it psychological? Is it medical? Um, is there really a physical empty space that happens in the body? No, there is no as such empty space because our body inside the abdomen, there are a lot of loose organs. So if you will remove something, it will be occupied by the other organs. So there is no emptiness. What happens generally that sometime uh, during hysterectomy, we have to remove the ovary also. And as you know that ovary is one of the important source of the female hormone where oestrogen and progesterone is secreting that gives the womanhood. And in those hormones decreases, then the problem starts because it creates hormonal imbalance in the body and there will be a lot of changes, behavioral changes, physical changes. So women feel, women feel that removing their uterus will kind of affect their libido, is that so? Yes, that also happens. But if surgery is performed properly and in most of the cases we do not remove the ovary at all and if ovary is intact then this problem does not happen. Because our all the hormones are produced by the ovary. So if there is no extensive disease, no any malignancy which has completely metastasized all over, then ovary removal is not remo required and simple removing the uterus does not affect much. Uh, maybe psychological little reduction in the libido can happen, but all the hormones keep on going on. And anyway, most of the patient who go for hysterectomy they are around the menopausal age group. So anyway within 5 to 6 years they are going to go to the ovarian failure because ovary will stop producing the hormone that is how menopause happens. Right. So I do not think it should be a very big problem and of course if it is not required we do not do hysterectomy we try to treat it by the medical therapy mm -hmm. but when the life threatening situation happens then we have to see the risk versus benefit of course. and in those situations uterus, uterus has to be sacrificed. sacrificed. So tell us doctor, how long is this procedure and how much does it cost? Surgery takes average one hour time. Okay. 
and the hospital stay is one day next day patient will be discharged and uh, patient can return to normal activity within a week normal activity and the cost of the surgery depends upon the type of hysterectomy like there are nine type of hysterectomy like some is LAVA that is laparoscopic assisted vagina hysterectomy, some is total laparoscopic hysterectomy, some is radical laparoscopic hysterectomy, radical laparoscopic hysterectomy for cancer cases. Mm -hmm. But normally we do total laparoscopic hysterectomy mm -hmm. and ovary we do not remove. So, that will cost you approximately 2000 to 3000 dollar maximum mm -hmm. and uh, patient will have some hospital where they have a lot of luxury, it may go up to 5000 but normally 2000 to 3000 dollar is the maximum, maximum cost of hysterectomy so like you say that the patient can return back home within a day but the patient would essentially require at least a month of recovery time or no uh, no one week she can uh, return to normal activity but of course it depends upon which type of work she is doing she if she is a sedentary worker then within couple of weeks she can return to office but if she is a woman who do the physical work like she is in police or something then I will advise for at least one month rest after that she can return to those activities. And what about exercising? Exercises uh, the normal simple exercises can be started with the next week mm -hmm. but heavy weight lifting mm -hmm. or strenuous exercises should or be jogging or, or jogging or excessive running okay. those things we avoided for one month. Thank you doctor. So, if you have got any questions on hysterectomy, then do give us a call on the number below your screen or write to us on the comment box in our YouTube channel or then you can email us and Dr. Mishra here will answer all your queries. Until next time, bye-bye.